The 4th of July is a fun time for families, but it can be scary for pets. That's right. Kaylee Hunt joins us live from the Hawaiian Humane Society with some tips to keep your pets safe this holiday weekend. Morning, Kaylee. Good morning, and just like you guys mentioned, the 4th of July and other big holidays can be kind of scary for pets, especially with the fireworks, the loud booms, even loud parties from your neighbors. And with me from the Hawaiian Humane Society is Jessica Tronowski. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, good morning. So we're here to talk about tips and tricks you can kind of help pet owners, and there's so many here in Hawaii, um, to kind of deal with the fireworks and the loud commotion. So what are some tips you offer? Um, I think the first and foremost is to make sure that your pet is microchipped before the festivities of the weekend take place. Um, it's the law here in Hawaii, but also if your pet is already microchipped, make sure that that microchip is registered with your up-to-date correct information so that we can contact you should your pet, you know, escape the yard or get out of your house. And how common is it that, you know, when there's big loud commotions, pets get scared and, they, and then they leave, you know, so I'm assuming there's an uptick in stray animals coming in during these big holidays. There is. Um, unfortunately, you know, our pets don't have the context of, you know, this is a holiday, it's a celebration, you know. They, they don't understand why there's loud noises and why there's flashes of light. Um, so they can get scared and escape and um, become stray. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that our pets are kept indoors and in a safe space um, when we can expect these fireworks and parties to be taking place. So what are some other things to look out for in forms of, you know, anxiety in your pet, maybe some shaky behavior? What are some things to look out for, especially for a new puppy who this might be its first 4th of July? Right. So um, I think you know your pet best. Um, if it's any kind of abnormal behavior, um, take note of that. Um, it could be that they're pacing or that they're shaking or that they're hiding um, or that they could just be super, you know, anxious and, you know, acting out and having high energy. Um, it could be a range of things. So just, you know, your pet best and just take note of things that might be out of the ordinary. I feel like we always talk about dogs, right? Mm -hmm. Dogs, because it's more physical. A dog might bark. A dog might, you know, I have a 90-pound Labradoodle. Sometimes he'll get in my lap, and that's kind of odd for a big <laughs> dog. But what about some cats? And I'm assuming, you know, 4th of July and fireworks, it might impact cats just as much as dogs, but it might be different. Do you see the same in stray cat upticks or even cats not liking fireworks during this time? Um, I would say our main focus and what we see most is dogs. Um, but I will say, at least from personal experience, my cat hates fireworks more than my dog. Um, he gets really, really anxious. He gets sick to his stomach and won't eat his food um, when there's fireworks, at least for a couple days after the fireworks. So um, definitely keep an eye on your cats, too, if you have cats. Um, make sure that they have a space to go and be calm and maybe even hide. That's kind of their safe space. And just make sure that they're kept indoors as well and that they're kept in a safe space when we know fireworks are going to be happening and all of that. Which is a lot of fun. Let's switch gears a little bit. We are here at the Humane Society, which, you know, Let's see if there's any adoptable animals. And with us, kind of on the ground, he's being such a little good boy. We have Nixon. Can you tell us a little bit about Nixon? And he's up for adoption. He is. Um, this is Nixon. He is a. Um he is two years old, and he is a Jack Russell uh, hound mix, and he's just super sweet. He has a lot of energy as being, you know, only two years old, and he does, he's, you know, seeing the chickens run around campus quite a bit right now, um, but he's just the sweetest, and he's available for adoption right now, um, and today is our last day of our adoption special, so his adoption fee is 50% off uh, through the end of the day today. That is so special. I know summertime is honestly the perfect time to adopt an animal. Kids tend to be out of school. The weather's nice. You can do outdoor activities. Why is it so good to adopt during the summer, you know? And I feel like you have extra time to have that extra care. Owning an animal is a lot of, a lot of work. It is. Um, if you have the extra time, if, you ha if you've been wanting to welcome a pet into your home and into your family, the summer is a great time to do it. Not only is there, are there plenty of activities that you can do as a family to kind of socialize your pet and you know, welcome them into your family. It's also, you know, high time for shelters, you know, across the island and across the state that, you know, we do see in the summer an uptick in intake of animals and um, surrenders, whether they be stray or owner surrenders. So, you know, it not only helps an animal find, you know, a forever home, but it also helps your local animal shelters, you know, keep their populations manageable and giving the best care that we possibly can to all of the ones in our care. I absolutely love it. And there are so many adorable, adoptable dogs and cats right here. Jessica, thank you so much for talking to us early this morning. We actually have one more interview with her coming up later on. We'll talk a little bit more about fireworks 
tips and tricks for your pets. And then we'll also get in a little bit about volunteering here at the Hawaiian Humane Society. That's latest for now. Reporting live, I'm Kaylee Hunt. Guys, back to you in studio. A lot of good information. Thank you so much, Kaylee and Jessica. You're a pet owner. Do you have any tips for us? Take your dogs running and tire them out because we always take them running at Kapilani Park. They do some sprints and they mm -hmm. come home, they pass out. Hank will get a little nervous. He'll bark a little bit when the fireworks go off, but that's my tip. Get them tired. Just like kids, right? <laughs> tire them out so they have a good sleep that night. Yep.